This is a Severus On Demand feature from Drive Time with Raj Baden. Follow on Twitter at Raj Baden, Instagram and Facebook. Hi, it's me, Raj Baden here on 1260am online at subrishradio.com, Dab Digital Radio and through your mobile app here on Subrish Radio. I have got my uh, special guest and let me tell you, my special guest is someone who was on my show on Tuesday, uh, but because of shooting schedules and the busy man that he is, I couldn't complete my interview, but I've got him back here. So here he is. I'm talking about the star from Dash Ishk on ZTV. It is Sid Dan Gupta. Hi, Sid. Hi, Raj. Thank Hello. You. I'm back again. You're back again. And thank yeah. you very much. I know on Tuesday you were in the middle of a shoot, so uh, we couldn't really do a full on interview. So, uh, I hope so. And I'm really sorry for that. And I'm uh, thank Thanks to you, actually, for being so patient with me. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. you, know, you know what? You're, you're a bit too humble, uh, Sid. It's not humble, Mataho, because uh, seriously, I think I fall in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? I mean, I mean, I'm the way I am. You are, no. I, yeah, be, <laughs> even the basic good is you. Know? Even, yeah, even the fans are saying to me as well, they said that, you know, you're such a nice guy and I didn't realise how nice you are and you are generally a, a really nice guy. So, uh, thanks very much for being so humble. Um, right, Sid, let's thanks, go. Thanks. <laughs> let's go uh, to, first of all, the, let's do the formalities. Yeah, let's get this out of the way. The fact that, you know, you've been part of Dashina Ishk. How has Dashina Ishk been for you have you are you enjoying being part of the show and your character i'm uh, honestly if you i mean if you're really an honest answer i'm really really loving it because it has changed my life and uh, you know uh, acting every day of my life is something i uh, i wanted to do after i finished my acting course because i realized there's nothing I can I I can do anything else, but I can't do anything else better. But act. So mm. There's so much to it. Every day you're given given, given new scenes, and you're performing. So uh, you know it's a surprise for me every day. So uh, I improvise. I like I, I like to make uh, a few graphs of my scenes, and I perform. So that's uh, that's the way I want my life to be. I hope it lasts longer. Yeah, no, it is, and of course it will, especially with the amount of love and support that you're getting from the viewers, from the fans that are loving Dashina Ishk, and uh, you know, it's a, it's a it's a great way to kind of start your career doing doing such a popular show. Yes, it's great, especially on the social media I've seen. I mean, there are so many followers, there are so many lovely fans, and uh, there, and there are so many fan groups people have created of the show of mine. Uh, I mean, it's all, it's endless, honestly. I think our, our show is uh, the most talked about on social media, apparently. This is what I feel. The response is just great. Yeah. That's good. It's good. And you're spending a lot of time online as well. Uh, how much does, um, you know, the, the kind of feedback that you get from fans influence on how yeah. the show is developing? Do you ever give any feedback to producers about, that you fans are talking about the characters you want to you know, honestly, I uh, try. I usually show the comments to my uh, creatives and the producers whenever I meet them on the set. And uh, they do consider that also at times. But then it's the broad story what matters. I I, I know it's the con- the content is the hero right now. I am not, to be honest. Oh, wow. These days, it's the content is the competition. And, you know, it's uh, yes, you're performing it. I always see one scene, it's, uh, an actor, director and the writer's uh, thing. So uh, it's the writer first, then it's the director's vision, and it's the actor's input in the end, which makes one scene. And but talking about the broad story, as there have been many people uh, complaining about a few tracks going on here and there. But then when it's an endless thing, in the sense when you're shooting every day so many episodes, you need to have some twists and turns, which I really understand. You can't just go happy, go lucky all the time. There has to be some drama to it. There has to be something to it, which will keep you on the edge. You know. And, mm-hmm. uh, it, it is, has to be a balance of yeah. a lot of things. It's like a roller coaster, isn't it? Kabi upper, kabi niche. So uh, you can't be up all the time. So um, that's the kind of journey <laughs> of course, it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, what about your character? Are you uh, do you do you like playing uh, uh, the character of Kunj? You know, is it is that something that you always wanted to play? I don't know. I honestly, uh, I 
also requested my uh, creatives to give some uh, graph to it because I am playing a very extremely good boy and uh, which is somehow relatable. Okay, I don't want to be modest enough. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I I would honestly like some graph to it. I don't know some something happening, something else happening with my character because it's been a few months and it's uh, somehow getting. Uh, monotonous at the same time i like to make my graphs so i uh, my mind is in peace and i don't get greedy enough as far as the character is concerned so uh, i do tell them uh, i've told them honestly that you have to get some graph some shade to my character i don't know it'll be challenging for me honestly because i want to do the show yeah but sit really. sit but what kind of change if you were the producer what kind of change would you like to see in your character i mean you can't now suddenly turn negative because you know you know kunji is not known for that kind of side but uh, what kind of change would you like to see in kunji's character you know as an actor i am ex- extremely greedy raja i can't tell you i would like to explore some, all the shades of uh, the character and uh, i don't know if at all given a chance i don't know with the tv i've seen there are some double roles happening this and that is happening so uh, kunj i can never leave playing kunj i think audience wouldn't accept it because of the amount of love i have uh, got and the acceptance i've got so i would like to continue playing it maybe something else to it something i don't know i don't want to think about it i've left Uh, my opinion with the creators, I, I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. But as an actor, I'm extremely greedy. I would like to do something else at least, you know. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And what's your take on the whole kind of romantic, uh, the outlook of the show? Of course, the show is uh, you know romantic based. You know, it's got a villain, yeah. you know, that kind of negative star in it as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. what do, do, is is that good for you? I mean, do you like that kind of? Are you romantic at heart? Is that that's what I'm trying to get at? I always wanted to do uh, something which is related to romance and comedy uh because you know every actor has their favorite genres and mine is uh, comedy and uh, emotional scenes honestly I love doing them I mean it's it's easy for me because uh, I don't know I relate to them I uh, like in the previous interviews I told you it's life experiences Mm-hmm. So, oh yeah. I don't know my life has been great uh, this way. I've had a lot of emotions. I've laughed a lot in my life. So these are the two emotions I love to portray. So which I get. And it's a rom-com show everybody is loving it. I mean, you want to feel light end of end of the day, you know? If there are a few people doing drama, you there have to be few people uh cracking some jokes and doing some romance and that. So yeah, it's all balanced. I mean, it's a very it's a, the best part about the show is that it's a mixture of youth and family. Uh-huh. You know, the youth is really following it, and the families are also watching. Indeed, it, so yeah, I'm indeed. Yeah. Uh, um, so you mentioned, uh, of course, your two favorite emotions being love and comedy. Okay, the comedy you can get from yeah. even watching a David Duvin kind of film. That's not a problem. But the love side, uh, love side. Um, yeah. Is there anything happening on the love side in Sid's life? Uh, I, I, I mean, are you really getting personal right now? <laughs> 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 I mean, it's going to be like a chilled out. <laughs> it's completely chilled <laughs> out. Asked me that question, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of fans who want to know basically if you're in a relationship. I was trying to do it the other way round, but uh, I, I think I, I think I'm going to keep them in suspense, and I don't know. I don't want to really uh, get into that. So yeah, let's see what time I might. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> next question. Okay. Next question <laughs> is. Uh, let's go to this question here. Um, w- uh, what's one thing uh, that uh, the list viewers and the listeners don't know about you? That's from Rudu Dipika, uh, who wants to know. Okay, one thing that we don't know about you at all. Uh, uh, I don't know. There's so many things. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the character and thing has been put. I mean, it's it's honestly seventy percent of me, uh, which I'm playing. So I don't know. There's anything left in the nine months which I haven't portrayed. So it's uh, the uh, my life has become like an open. Book. I think they know me. <laughs> In and out now, yeah, really. No, 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 no. <laughs> not fully open because you haven't told us about whether you're in a relationship. So, uh. Exa- I, I knew we'll get back to that, but yeah, again, skip it. Next question, please. Another question here from Maymoon. Yeah. Maymoon's asking, "What is your favorite quality of Jasmine?" Um, she uh, is actually she's the uh, opposite of me. We are two different, extremely different uh, individuals. So I think that's why the chemistry is really working. So uh, that's the best thing that she's not like me. She's really different. 
Okay. And uh, Prisha is asking uh, if you, if the director or the producer approached you uh, to be UV in uh, Dashan Ishk, uh, what would your take on that be? I think I might do it for a week and then I would like to get back to question. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know if, if at all they do a role reversal. It would be great. I think for a week at least I'll do a different shade and then I would love to get back to Kun because I know for a fact that. Kunj is made for me, and I'm made for Kunj. Oh, that is sweet. Um, by the way, how much musty do you get up to on the sets of the Shneesh? Uh, you know, you got a nice young team. All, all the time, yeah. You have to, Raj. Whenever you come to India, please come on the set, and you'll go bizarre laughing. I mean, you know, this is what keeps us going. We have a such good camaraderie amongst all of us. Yeah. Me, Jasmine, our director, Raka sir, and uh, Yuvraj, and everybody else. You know, we're just all the time laughing. It's, I mean, I'm blessed to have such good team. Yeah, and um, we are honestly laughing, cracking jokes all the time. The moment there's a cut, we are laughing. The moment there's a cut in an in an extremely emotional scene, we suddenly we burst out laughing. <laughs> so it's it's just fun to watch like this, you know. Is there is there any one particular person on the sets that creates a lot of uh, gimmicks and pranks? Is there anyone who makes a lot of pranks on the sets? Uh, pranks in the sense, you know, there's hardly uh, any time to uh, play a prank. But then, uh, given a chance, everybody is, you know, uh, uh, willing to sort of play a prank on someone or the other. Like, you know, especially when we have a when you have a good rapport with the director, and he's so much fun loving. I, it's, it's just nice to have such a great director, and he's mostly playing pranks on somebody or the other. Uh, so he's the one I would say. Okay, um, Bobby's asking, yeah. how was your journey to Bollywood, and uh, when did you move to Mumbai? I think it's been uh, almost uh, one and a half years, five years now. Uh-huh. So it's been great. Eh? I mean, as I said, uh, life decides something. Uh, at times, life decides something you're good at. So life discovered this option for me, which is acting, and I'm glad, thankful to God that I'm doing this and I'm not becoming a pilot. And I didn't become a pilot, and uh, extremely happy, extremely happy doing this. And uh, let's see what uh, what's the next step. I mean, I I hope I go one step higher. Yeah. Over time. Yeah. Um. What, what about other kind of shows? Obviously, I know you're working in Dashna Ishq, but uh, what about other kind of shows that you can do side by side, like a reality TV show? Have you ever considered that? Uh, my life is. Uh, not my life anymore. My life is uh, <laughs> a twenty-page contract. <laughs> These people have made me sign. I can't do anything else but this show till the time my contract is valid. Oh no! Okay. Um, yes, but, I, know, I, know, I know. So, how do you feel about that? Do you want a bit of flexibility? I would love it. Of course, I would love to uh, explore a lot of sides of me. I mean, I, I would like love to anchor some show or something because I think I'll be good at it. I would like to continue to act also at the same time, which keeps me in peace. So these are the two things in my mind right now. And uh, but I keep doing shows here and there, as in like an appearance or a performance or this yeah. and that, which yeah. keeps you going. Yeah. Okay. Something or the other, I just think keeps happening in my life. Um, Ramya yeah. is asking. Yeah, so uh, Rami is asking: Is there has there been any emotional scene that you have done without any glycerine, uh, any kind of uh, chemicals to put in your eyes? I think uh, the last emotional scene which I did with uh, Twinkle when my dad was hospitalized, mm-hmm. I uh, I don't know, I just left myself. I didn't use, didn't want to use any glycerine, nothing at all. So I just sat and uh, I really got into it, and I just have came out to be a very nice scene. And I think I've got the maximum comments and uh, praises on that scene. So uh, it's so encouraging, you know, when people really appreciate your work. Mm-hmm. It makes you. It honestly makes you better every day. So yeah. I hope it keeps happening. But how does it? Is it? Is it difficult when you've got so many people on the sets watching you doing a particular scene? Um, you know, how is it for an actor? I mean, what goes through your head when you have to perform such an intense scene, like an emotional scene like that? Uh, you know, it's like a spoiled brat uh, going to the school for the first day, and the, uh, and the teacher asks you to stand on the side with your hands, oh, no. with, your, with your hands up. It's embarrassing for the t- first day, but after a week, it, you just get used to it, and you stand in the corner with your hands up. So <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> oh God! I know it's a weird example I gave you, but you know, so is life. You, know, you just get used to all this. And, yeah, and uh, in the end, it's your concentration. It's the camera in front of you is your best friend right now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in uh, that very moment. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, Simran is asking, do you watch Tashna Ishq? I mean, when you get a, sp- a spare time, and obviously, uh, what do you think about the show when you're watching it from home? Can I be honest here? Yeah, more than I, uh, because I shoot every day and we are mostly shooting very cut to cut, like what we shot today will be telecasted tomorrow. Wow. Okay. So okay. Uh, mostly I don't get the time to watch it, but then at times I do get to watch it also. I would prefer watching my show and what I'm doing, though I know what is happening. But more than, uh, I think I prefer, I prefer watching the comments. Uh, more than I would prefer watching myself on screen. It it gives you more encouragement. I feel. I mean, I think uh, audience is the real uh, critic. Yeah, and that's uh, true. I do uh, observe all the comments. I do read all the comments and uh, try to make myself better. So I yeah, think but I, I, or any day I prefer reading the comments than watching the show. Mm-hmm. But Sid, um, there's a complaint from a few of your fans saying that you're not so active on Twitter these days. Uh, you were before, but you're not recently. So you need to take some more time out and have a Twitter chat with some of these fans as well. I know, I know. I, 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 I mean, apologies for that, but I would I try to be regular. But then at times, you know, I'm shooting in some bizarre areas where there's no network all day. And the moment you reach home, you just want to like pass out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like today, I've been shooting in 7 a.m. in... Uh, uh, this place called Naigao in Mumbai, which is not, uh, uh, I mean, <coughs> signal network friendly. Uh, so there's no internet working. So at times, you know, it just happens and then at times you're so engrossed in your things that I don't really get the time. But I, before I sleep, I do make it a point that I at least read everything you guys have written with so much love. Um, but I'll try to be regular. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Couple of questions here. Here, uh, Samaya is asking your yeah. fa- your favorite cartoon you loved to watch as a kid. Uh, Tom and Jerry. Definitely, I think. Yeah, I agree with you there. Any particular reason? Yeah. I, uh, I, no, not really. I just loved it. I mean, as a kid, actually, I was not too fond of watching cartoons, but I would. I used to love watching. Uh, Cricket or some sports or the other on TV and a few films, mm-hmm. uh, even when I was a small kid. But then my brother used to love watching cartoons, and then I got used to this Tom and Jerry used to love watching it, and then I started loving watching it. Right. Uh, by the way, talk about cricket, you just mentioned that. Arman wants to know what's your favorite uh, cricket team in the Cricket T20, the World Cup that's going on at the moment? Uh, the cricket team in T20 World Cup, of course, it's India. India, okay. No, I'm just saying because it could be another team. You never know. Might be England because you're no, regular I love here. I India, but honestly, if you ask me, I love A.B. De Villiers. Oh, I think yeah. it's, uh, he's something else. I think uh, you can't be a better batsman than A.B. De Villiers. Oh, wow. Um, do you watch any other sport? Do you get time to watch any other sport? You know, I've been into sports all my life. I mean, since, even since I was a kid, I started playing cricket and then uh, I, from Jammu, so I represented my uh, state J and K. I played national in cricket under fourteen, and then I, I don't know. Then I started to swim, and then I played this national in uh, people went to J and K uh, in swimming uh, national, and then I don't know what happened. Then I switched to basketball, and then under nineteen, I played basketball national. So it's, oh, yeah. my, I don't know. It's been bizarre, and uh, I could master. I couldn't master any of the sports. But they say if you're a jack of all trades, master in none, you're supposed to be an actor. So I think that's what I am. <laughs> I like the way you think yeah. of it. Um, by the way, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're yeah. going carry on, carry on. No, no, nothing, nothing. Um, uh, Sid, uh, there's a fan of yours, uh, another big fan of yours, uh, Maria. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sure you know who she is. Um, she has of asked me. I know. She's extremely sweet, sending me such lovely yeah. gifts from France all the time. All the time. And it's so sweet, you know. I mean, it's the best gesture, actually. Uh, please, Maria, don't spend so much money on especially sending so much, so many gifts. I really appreciate all the love you give to me. And, uh, that is really enough for me. Yeah. So, uh, yes. Oh, um, but you know, not just her, but there's, a, there's so many other fans. They told me that you've got an amazing voice to sing. Can you sing? Do, do, is, yeah. that, is, that a, is that a passion you've got? No, I mean, you know, I always felt, uh, even when I came to Bombay, uh, okay, it's a very small story, but uh, I'll just tell you what happened. I came to Bombay, I went for my first audition. I left my pilot course, everything, and I just came to Bombay all alone. I just wanted to become an actor. 
and i gave my first audition and uh, i couldn't even give an introduction you know in an introduction they give you a board in your hand with your name written and then you have to introduce yourself i was sudan the time from so and so place and these are my profiles i was shivering i couldn't open my mouth and then i for a moment i said what the hell have i done to my life hmm. i mean uh, my camera ke samne mutu khul nahi raha acting kaise karega tu <laughs> and then he kya kar diya pilot bhi nahi bana actor bhi nahi bana ghar wale to matlab mujhe disown kar denge and after that i did an acting course i was like let's just try this let's just open up i did this four months acting course changed my life completely uh-huh. like completely and that's when i realized i can't do anything better but act you uh-huh. know it's just all inside you just need to like get it out you know sensibly so uh, this was my life changing experience and uh, yeah and it will be uh, i'll stick to acting all my life i'm very confident of that uh-huh. and then i used to feel while well, i was struggling you know i wanted to do be a part of a nice film or do something for me as far as acting is concerned, I was doing theater. I used to feel, "Yeah, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do acting. I'm going to do dance. I'm going to do music. I'm going to do a little bit of singing. So, what, what does it take to become to make it big?" I, I kept thinking to myself, and it's actually, I think, it's the right time. Uh, you just need to hit the right chord at the right time. So why don't so why don't we hit the right chord now? Uh, let's why don't we give it a go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should do a, a line for us. Right I mean, after I've been working since seven in the morning and it's like twelve in the night. Right <laughs> I know. Okay, I'll sing for my friends. Okay, I'm going to sing my uh, favorite song, which is uh, 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 "Kisan Bano or Fasal Ugao." Okay. Right. Okay, I'm just just playing. I know there was a silence right now. I know. I was thinking, <laughs> what? Which one is that? <laughs> I thought maybe it's a track between you and your fans. <laughs> I know you're trying to be nice to me. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I'll just play. Uh, I'll sing any song. Call me now. Okay. Chahe jo tum hai pure dil se milta hai wo mushkil se. ऐसा जो कोई कहीं है बस वो ही सब से हसी है इस हथ को तुम थाम लो वो मेहरबान कल हो न हो I I I I I I was gonna get the violins out. I, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? So, <laughs> that was very impressive. I must add, that was really good. I wasn't expecting to be so good. Now, I don't know much about singing, and if I was on Saligamapa or any other reality TV show, I think I'd give you the thumbs up yeah. from me. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're being nice to me. And I mean, I think I feel I've lost one voice, uh, <laughs> part of my because there's some intense scene I shot, and I just scream and shout. And after that, I've just been coughing. It's been so many days, and I'm just not get voice back. I feel. Oh no! <laughs> uh, but Sid, I noticed that you took uh, the middle part of that song. Uh, is there a particular reason that you didn't choose like just the the no, one I chorus? Just, I don't like things to be uh, cliche, so that's it. Uh, Alleva, <laughs> that's good. I, I'm I'm glad. <laughs> I thought maybe for a special person. I thought maybe you sang that part uh, uh, for a special lady in no, life. This, are you really trying to poke, poke <laughs> me there? <laughs> I thought I tried. Th- people, my fans. Th- th- you know, th- even th- if there's somebody in my life, I promise to love all my fans. Uh, I mean, uh, as much as I would love her. Yeah. I mean, I, this is my promise, really. Oh. And I'm, yeah. I mean, so I'm saying this with all my heart. Mm. You should give it a go then. You should just, uh, you should just come out with it and say you've got a girlfriend. And uh, everyone, please just continue loving me. Ah, uh, network issues. Uh, I can't. Said <laughs> <laughs> so, before you go, uh, can I just quickly go through this rapid fire? Just a quick rapid fire. There's five questions here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number one: uh, dream celebrity you yeah. want to meet. Matthew McConaughey. Okay. Um and uh, you know any, the uh, reasons for it also? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, go on. I was going to say yeah, go on, uh, give me a reason and also a Bollywood one as well if you can tell me a Bollywood one. Because uh, Matthew McConaughey you don't need a, a 3D television to watch me when you watch him it's it for me it feels like he's in front of me acting so it. Oh, I wish I get uh, oh. as good as him someday really. Yeah. Um what about in Bollywood? Is anyone in Bollywood that you like to meet? I've mostly uh, seen them like them, or not all, but uh, Mr. Bachchan I haven't met. Uh, I've seen him, and 
some uh, show. I remember when I was modeling. But then I'd love to meet him, shake hands. My mother is his biggest fan, so she wants to meet him. And I hope I can make my mother meet him someday. Okay. Um, and uh, second rapid fire, three things you can't live without. Um, growing up, it was food, shelter, clothing. Now it's uh, lights, camera, action. Lights, camera, action. Ready? Wow. Um, a third one, a favorite holiday destination. I think I'll come to London and say hi to you, Raj. Oh, do you know what? I, I noticed actually you have been to London. Is it a couple of times have you been here? No, no I've just been there once, just uh, in uh, November and December, I, I believe. Yeah, and okay. One of, my, one of the best holidays, but um, I've yet felt, I think, London slightly formal, no? Don't you think so? Uh, yeah, uh, no, it's not. It depends where you're going. It's not formal at all. No, I know. No, it's not formal in that uh, manner, but you know, it's the people and the atmosphere. It's, I've seen people taking appointments with their friends. Please, can you meet me? <laughs> you know, in India, it's different. No, really. I mean, London, it's like they say, "Can we meet this? Uh, can we meet tonight?" No, I'm busy. I mean, let's meet on the weekend. I mean, I said, just keep your weekend free. I, this is what happens in London. Yeah. I've seen people talking to people like in India. Me, what happens? Can I meet you tonight? No, let's meet on the weekend. No, just open the door and close it. I'm coming. Exactly. That, that's, it's a lot more organized here. But uh, no, I mean, it depends where you go. I mean, there are some kind of you know, Indian mentality there is uh, in certain places you go. Um, but yeah. No, there I mean, is. I love the place. I can't tell you. I'd love to visit it again. But then I feel I can just only stay there for like 15, 20 days and not more than that. Okay, okay. But uh, next time you come here, please give me a buzz. It'll be great to link up, all right? Of course I will, definitely. Yeah. Um, Sid, by the way, your birthday's coming up next month. Uh, fans want to know about your birthday plans. I have no idea. I think I'll be shooting. I'll try to take a day off. I don't know. I uh, Honestly, can I say this? I haven't said this before. I would love to keep, uh, I don't know, a family somewhere if it's possible. I don't know uh, how many plans do I have in Bombay since I can travel out of Bombay and meet them in any other city. But uh, I, I don't know. I would love to keep it. I don't know how. I'll have to actually plan it. So uh, just give me time. I'll figure it out. Okay, good. Yeah, because they're asking, uh, a lot of fans are asking, okay, when can they meet you, meeting with Kesi Karsakte and all this. So, um, yeah, exactly. I, I'm wondering where to meet them, how to meet them, uh, but uh, I'll figure out something. I'll speak to some channels here and then we we'll fix up something. Okay. We'll sort so, something out here in London as well. I think that'd be great uh, for your fans here in London to meet you as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? I just leave India. I mean, you think my production will give me so many holidays? <laughs> I think you want you have plans chucking me out of this show. You oh no! Do you want to like replace me? <laughs> oh no! No, 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 no. Um, okay, we'll talk about it after your show then. All right. Um, but let's talk about. Oh yeah, ha. There's a question here. Favorite international clothing brand, and what's your shirt shirt size as well? Uh, a random question here. Your shirt size and your favorite international clothing brand. You know, I honestly, I love. Uh, uh, Bershka, which you don't get in India. Uh, whenever I go or whenever I travel, I, I mean, the first store I visit is Bershka. I That's good. It's fabulous, especially the shoes. I mean, it's not very expensive, but it's the fit and the style, it's, it's slightly better than Zara. Oh. Yeah. And I'm a big clothing freak. I mean, I spend a lot of money on clothes. Did you, shoes, spend, did you spend a lot of money here when you were in London? In London, I think I bought some 13 pairs of shoes wow. from uh, Selfridges. Uh -huh. uh, I love Selfridges. I think I've uh, shopped almost uh, every day from there. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> I had to buy two more suitcases when I came back. Wow. So, just to, just, I've uh, shopped so much here. Uh, uh, so, uh, what about your shirt size? I think uh, fans want to know your shirt size in case they want to send you any shirts. Shirts? <laughs> How sweet is that? It's, it's actually medium. Uh, medium there you go um all right and uh, finally uh shout out from, from, from the fans uh rudu dipika uh rajit hussein aisha Saba, yeah. ashwarya lamia rehman uh saloni shrivast anali mega sinna alia segal afridi niloi hina and uh, your fan club um who's the largest fan club of dashanishk on twitter sakshi yeah. all want to say Thank you for being such an amazing actor, and they love you so much. I was saying to you in yesterday's interview as well that um, there's so much love for you. It is unbelievable. And, uh, you know, even I was kind of taken aback with the amount of questions and the amount of love that I was getting from you. <laughs> I think this is really nice. But honestly, I mean, uh, I 
if at all I fail to answer them on social media, I would like to do such interviews so at least I can answer all the questions they ask me, which is uh, all actually quicker and impromptu. So uh, please, please feel free to do an interview whenever you feel there's a lot of other questions also. And uh, thank you so much, you all. I just want to say that uh, you know there are so many fan clubs. I mean, there's uh, a few. I saw on Twitter that somebody has created Mrs. Sudhan Gupta. It's so sweet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the Sidhan Gupta world and Sidhan Gupta planet and uh, Sidhan Gupta fan club and uh, from different countries, from India, from all the other places, there's so many fan clubs and it's so nice to know that. Who wouldn't be encouraged? Yeah, I mean, to work hard if you have so many people following you. Oh. You know, I mean, uh, just getting that smile on their faces and uh, you know. I really look forward to all the comments, especially after eight or eight thirty when my show ends. Yeah. There's a storm of comments about the episodes and this happened and that happened. This shouldn't have happened. That shouldn't have happened. You were looking really cute and that. And just be so used to it. I hope it never stops. And I just want to say, you all are my people. I'm really possessive about you all, and I love you the amount. Uh, I mean, I mean, I love you as much as you guys love. Me. Yes. Please keep up the love. Sid, this is a you. lot of love for you. Um, Sid, sorry, you know what? There's uh, one more question, uh, two more questions here. Um, first of all, what does yeah. your mom call you? Ali Aguero wants to know you. Uh, wants to know that. What does your mom call you? Uh, okay, okay, this is new. Uh, so uh, my mom dad is they call me Bunny. Bunny, <laughs> like, hi, hi, Bunny. <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> yeah. So I think I, I used to prefer them calling me Bunny more than they call uh, more than uh, Siddharth. Which is my name. I thought it. I just used to it. You know, since I was a kid, I've been having this name. Especially so then, growing up, you have friends and everybody calling you Sudan, which is your real name. But mom, yeah. just called me Bunny, yeah. and they still call me Bunny. And yeah, and if you were to date, marry, and kill Alia Bhatt, Priyanka Chopra, and Deepika Padukone, who what would you do with any of them? Oh, sorry, date, marry, and kill. Yeah. Why would I kill somebody? I mean, give me a name. I really want to kill. Like, okay, um, uh, just uh, just just move <laughs> just move aside. Who would you move aside? Uh, date and marry. Uh, sorry, can you? Uh, Alia Bhatt, uh, Priyanka, uh, who, and yeah. Deepika. I think I'd love to uh, date uh, Alia. Uh, I would love to <laughs> marry Deepika and Priyanka. Also, I love that. I mean. Me a tough choice. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Sorry, evil, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And I very, very, yeah. <laughs> and the, the question from Adia, who wants to know, how is your bonding with your parents and brother? And if you had to choose one as your best friend, who would it be? I'm uh, extremely lucky because in this city, you really need support from your parents. So I came to Bombay. I had all the support. They got convinced and gave me a year. And uh, I'm uh, blessed to have some supportive parents. At least, you know, when your parents' support is there in this city, which is so lonely and which is so expensive, you at least can concentrate on your work and not your daily expenses and this and that initially. And after you earn, you can probably repay or then in some way or the other. Uh, and my brother, of course, is the... Uh, uh, it, he's uh, 87 born I'm 89 born so it's just hardly a difference he's like my yeah. friend so oh. we share a great bond and especially my father you know used to be a strict father mm -hmm. when I was a kid growing up I used to shiver in front of him and after I passed my 12th uh, it's funny I went to Goa for the first time he sent me my me and my brother to Goa he's like just go to Goa and have fun I said okay it was New Year's I remember the first time me and my brother having a holiday alone uh Two boys who were grown up boys going to Goa. You know? So one finally he called me at 12 and he was like, Kaha ruke ho? I said, Panjim mein. And he said, Abhi kaha ho? I said, Papa Baga mein. So, Kesi aayo? I said, Gadi mein, hire ki hai. I said, Okay, tum ne, to tum dhang se chala na, if you had some alcohol and this and that. I said, Papa, don't worry. And then he was like, You know, my father has been like a principal to me. So he was like, This is one that's very funny, okay? I mean, I know why I'm narrating this, but he said, uh, Look, you are big, so you are in Goa and you are alone. So, uh, he took five seconds of pause and he was like, protection use Kachita. And I laughed for an hour <laughs> after that. <laughs> and like, I seriously, seriously say that. <laughs> after that, I mean, I don't think there's anything I've hidden from him. 
uh, his parents just need to, need to open up and they need to understand their children. Oh. And my mom, of course, is as silly as I am. I think that uh, the traits I've got from her only. So uh, it's a great family. Yeah. Oh, that, and, uh, is so family. that is so good to have. So then, uh, no, no wonder uh, you, you've turned out how you are because you've got such amazing people around you, and you've got uh, you know uh, loving people around you. You got loving fans around you. What more does anyone yeah. want? So you know what? It's all because of your own being and how the way you are with people. I think it's um, also I would say the upbringing which they have given me. Uh, I mean to do everything in limit, never cross the limit. If at all you want to cross, cross the limit, I need to share it one with my parents. If they allow it, they just they don't. Then I don't can't cross it. So it's been like that when I was a kid, and after I grew up, it you know it's all there in your mind. So log achhe hote hain, but time kharab hota hai kabi kabi. So just excuse me. So then, can I just say? I know it's after midnight there. I just want to say thank you so much for giving me so much time. Uh, there were so many questions, so I thought let me get all of them out the way. Otherwise, I get complaints from the fans. Uh, but I think I've done my job. <laughs> yeah. uh, so um, there you go. I hope I've answered all. I mean, I would love to answer if there were any uh, leftover questions. I mean, I don't want to disappoint anyone because they all are extremely special from Delhi. Oh, we'll definitely do it. We'll do another interview because I've been harassing you this time. Um, I'll, I'll leave. I'll, I'll leave you. I'll, <laughs> I'll leave you in peace for about a month and then I'll contact you again, all right? Thank <laughs> you so much. It's so nice of you. Yeah? I think you're a better person than I am. So considerate. <laughs> no, no, no. I was thinking. I go, oh, no. The fans are, are doing my head in. They're like, I have to get this interview done. And I was like, I was, I felt so bad. You know, yesterday with the interview, it was like 10 minutes. And even I was incomplete. I was like, I can't let this go now until a full interview I've gotten yeah, now. Yesterday, I was in Naigao. Yeah. There was no network. I could barely hear you. And then I don't know what I was talking. And uh, yesterday, I was shooting some fight sequence. I could see stars in the day. Uh, because I injured myself badly and I was oh. just not in good mood yesterday when I was talking to you. Also, so apologies if I wasn't cooperative enough. Oh you know. no! Are you alright, injury-wise? Um, everything teak? Yeah, I mean, I just fell. I mean, the over enthusiastic actor just comes out at times whenever there's some action scene or some stunt happening. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I injured my back a little, but then it's <coughs> fine now. It's okay. Just, the, the, the soldier that you are, you will uh, soldier through that. So, I wish you a speedy recovery. Uh-huh. And uh, uh, see that. I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much for coming here on Drive Time and talking to me and giving me so much time. Um, I wish you all the best with everything that you do. And let me know when you're next here in London as well. Definitely, I will. Draj. Thank you so much. And uh, um, one thing about you is that I really loved your energy. I message you that also. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's all give and take. When you and I look forward to such good energy interviews because mostly uh, I feel it's very monotonous. Oh, I think me, it's like what? I think I thought it was like that. You know, it's very at times it's really boring. But I do look forward to these interesting interviews. So uh, I would look forward to hearing from you again soon. Just, just like, and, just yeah, like. I love that. Just like your song that you're and singing. And I love that accent. No, no. <laughs> and I love that accent of yours also. How I do would you? like you to sing actually a song, a Hindi song in that accent. You know. Really? In the in. Yeah, uh, it, I, it'll be nice for the viewers. Can you sing one for them for my? So then, my my, my voice is nothing like yours, and uh, I was actually saying no, because I, I don't have such great voice. Uh, come on, and I just like to sing so I sang. So come on, you need to do this for my, the viewers. Just, uh, come on. <laughs> Don't be a spoiled one. Uh, Get some background tablas. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't even know which song to sing. Um, <coughs> uh, let me sing uh, Tujhe Dekha. I think uh, that's the only one that I can sing and give Maybe some justice just, to. I think you should just uh, just sing any song you like. Just sing Gulabi Aake. Come okay. I don't, I don't, I only know the t- I only <laughs> no, know the title. I only know the title part of it. You know the the, the chorus of it. So, Gulabi Aake, Jitu Ne Dekhi, Te Ne 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 Ne. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I don't know. Samhalo mujhko, oh mere yaro, ne 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 ne. Samhalo mujhko, oh dear. There you go. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sid. You chipped in. <laughs> oh, Sid, thank you so much. It has been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, thanks very much for the rendition as well of the Galabiake. But I will speak to you soon. All right, and have yourself a good night because I know early. Uh, to work. Oh, I have to wake up at seven. Yeah, my flight. <laughs> oh man, so there you go. You got about six and a half yeah, hours. Uh, I just got like yeah, six hours to sleep. Six hours. All right, Tika. All right, then, Sid. Look after yourself, and I'll speak to you soon. All right.
Thank you, Rajan. See you soon. I hope it, uh, you're happy with the interview and I hope fans are happy. So, I mean, they will be. I'm sure they will be. It's difficult pleasing everyone, but I think that should be enough. But thank you again, all right? Thank you, Rajan. Thank you. Yeah. See you soon.